Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. This is Tripti and in this video I'll be talking about 20 habits that you should do or you should inculcate in your daily life in your 20s. So we'll discuss each one of them one by one. So let's just get right into the video. Okay, so starting off with the first habit that is planning. So try to inculcate this habit of planning things because you know at times if you just start with the things you just go with the whole task and you are you, have, you haven't planned anything properly it kind of uh, gets chaotic in the end it kind of uh, you know results being executed in a very haphazard manner so that is why it's very uh, efficient and always helpful to plan things ahead you can plan a very detail oriented uh, like whole approach what are you going to do or you can even plan uh, with the help of to-do lists so it depends upon you if you're not that detail oriented person you can even uh, you know plan one task a day kind of a to-do list in which you'll be doing only one task or one you'll be achieving one goal throughout a day that will help you at least to move ahead and that will you know uh, help you do each task one by one and it will increase your efficiency and reduce uh, reduce your chances of procrastination because that way you'll be achieving at least one da uh, one task per day and that's a lot if uh, seen at longer term so this was uh, the first habit uh, moving on to the next one asking questions so this is your second habit and like be curious if you're curious don't be shy ask questions i know it's easy said uh, said than done at times we are too shy to ask questions especially for introverts out there and myself i'm an introvert so it becomes a little difficult to ask questions uh, you uh, judge yourself uh, before even anybody else judges you you judge yourself and you're like i might look stupid or a fool asking such questions don't like don't think that that way nobody is going to remember the question that you asked that day after like few years even after a few hours the same day they're going to forget about it but if you ask questions you get to know a lot more about things you get to uh, you know uh, try your like, hands on different things you get to learn about new opportunities new things that you can explore and even some new life uh, lessons or anything that helps you and even if it's not helping you you just you know are able to feel more confident since you asked a question and it got answered and uh, you were able to learn something so this was the second habit now moving on to the next one drink enough water like it's gonna help you in the uh, like years coming ahead drink as much water as you can especially summers are going on right now and for the coders out there you people are sitting on your chair whole day so it's very essential for you to you know stay hydrated and in continuous to this point only we have the fourth habit and that is exercising regularly at times we are coding all day on our chairs or on our beds wherever you're sitting and you know uh, we are not moving our bodies properly we are not doing enough exercises trust me uh if, even if you know you are exercising a bit you're just going out for a walk you're doing some stretches it helps you it helps you a lot uh, it kind of relaxes your brain you relax your mind and it helps uh, you know in a detox a detoxification of your body as well so uh, that is why you can um, like you should exercise even if you're not able to just maybe go for a walk another habit that i would like to say is make the most of your time whatever time that you have try to make the most out of it it can it is not necessarily uh, like uh, related to studying or you know working only you can make the most out of it by even having fun don't uh, you know uh, like just lay there don't just exist try to have fun try to make the most out of it try to learn new things try to explore and you know uh, you should do things the way you want to you should not have regrets in the end so that is one thing and now another habit that i would like to say is try saving up whenever you can it's going to help you a lot even if your savings right now might not be that much uh, like you might be earning more after some point of time but your savings when you do savings so it will actually inculcate a habit in you where you'll be able to manage your finances or manage your money well when you grow older so that is why saving helps you a lot in actually you know figuring out how you should spend your money so this is uh, another habit moving on to the next one just 
cover ways to earn money yeah you should definitely do that there are a lot of plenty of things available online you should definitely check out the different ways through which you can earn money and uh, different things that you can actually do it might be small or it might be big but uh, you should even try doing things that is not part of your domain that you know you get to learn something new things or you even get to explore some uh, new you can say hobbies it might not be your hobby it might not be your passion or something but you get to explore a very uh, like completely new thing and it might help you as well in uh, building your confidence and obviously it always feels good to learn something new. so yeah you can definitely try that so another habit is set a goal for yourself for every day like uh, uh i mean if you are planning ahead for your things as i said earlier uh, itself that planning always the planning is always helpful so in that thing or it's in extension to that thing only make sure you have a habit of you know like making one goal throughout your day ki every day you are making at least one goal or setting at least one goal that you're going to achieve that way you're going to uh, you know feel fulfilled at the end of the day you're going to feel satisfied and your things are going to get done so like this happens with you a lot of times right if you there's a like a very big task in front of you and you tend to procrastinate for like lot of days till the time the deadline comes and you're then under pressure why do you procrastinate because it seems such a big task to you but if at all you're able to divide that big task into smaller chunks and you start with the smaller pieces like for example the first step like downloading the folder downloading the file let's say if you're making a project then studying it reading it like highlighting the important portions and then reading or studying about the highlighting portions and then learning about them or making something out of it so anything anything that is helpful so that is why setting at least one goal per day is going to be very helpful for you so you can definitely try it okay so another habit that i'm going to say is be kind to others so it's a very important thing because uh, you never know what the other person is going through so it's uh, always a good habit to ask uh, someone's day like how their day went or maybe you know pass on a smile or two whenever you see people greet people ask them how you how the day was if they feel they're sad they try to talk to them or at least be there for them just listen to what they're trying to say so always be kind to others and try to help them as much as you can another habit is having control over your social media time which is a very important aspect like i have uh, i guess most of the people amongst us face this problem that times we just uh, like invest a lot of time on our social media and then we end up getting frustrated by that that this much time got wasted because i was on social media the whole day or whatever no some get or some time got wasted over that so instead of frustrating later instead of getting irritated later try to limit your time over social media beforehand only so that you don't get irritated at the end of the day that yeah your time got wasted maybe you know set uh, there are some uh, features available on your phone which in which you're able to set a limit like how much time you can spend or you can maybe you know switch off the phone whenever you feel like you're you're getting your hands too much on the phone and you can sit with your family sit with people go outside or do anything else that you know helps you connect with uh, the people around you in your current environment instead of using the phone and you know virtually connecting with everybody so that's going to help you a lot okay so next habit is meeting new people or networking so it's a very essential and important part especially if i talk about in terms of your work like networking or meeting new people talking with them talking about their field not i'm not asking you to network with people in the same field only you should also network with people in different fields you get to know about the you know uh, environment you are you get you get more aware about the things happening around you so it's always good for you to network and also it like uh, helps you in getting more and more opportunities that is why make sure you are networking with people as much as you can you're talking to people as much as you can even if you're shy try to talk no don't try if you're not if you're not capable of talking in a group maybe you know you can talk to individuals so this way it will help you a lot next app habit is your get enough sleep nowadays especially during lockdown we guys you know got into a habit of sleeping late watching series or waking up late because we had we didn't have anything right but now like try to make sure that you're getting enough sleep you're sleeping on time because you're you know at times when you're not sleeping on the same time of the day every day you feel tired even if you're sleeping for longer hours so that is why make sure that you have your own time your body has your own like it's has its own time for resting that's your sleeping time in continuation to this eat healthy 
so eating healthy is a very important aspect again because you're studying you're sitting your energy is getting utilized and obviously you want your body to stay healthy as well and everything is about money and work so yeah definitely take care of your health as well and uh, now moving on to the next habit so give yourself enough breaks don't stress too much on things at times uh, you know we people are not able to do things so at times even if we have done things we force ourselves to do more like we are always trying uh, there's a thing like trying to do better but there's also a thing that pushing yourself too much so don't do that take enough breaks and if you feel frustrated or if it if it all things feel uh, overwhelming it's okay just take a break there's no uh, like nothing wrong in it everybody does that so yeah you can do this uh, another habit is going to be don't compare yourself to others it's a very bad thing like everybody has like their own journey everyone is doing what they're good at everybody is doing things at their own pace sometimes people are able to discover their best side sometimes they are not it's okay find yourself throughout the journey find your ways find the ways through which you're able to do things better and that's it if you're taking time if you're taking things fast if you're taking things slow it's okay don't compare yourself to others just try to find the best in yourself that's it that's all that matters next habit is learn basic life skills it can be like cooking it can be like doing laundry it can be like yeah anything that is like um, you know at times you might have to live alone after some point of time due to work you might have to live alone so in that case you should know how to do some basic things uh, again cooking doing laundry it can be yeah multiple things another habit that i would like to say is practice your hobbies so you know at times in this whole rush or in this whole world of you know everything is like going so ahead you're just always focused on your work or you're always focused on the things around you so instead of doing that at times just try to uh, make time for your hobbies as well because that's something that makes you feel better and that's something uh, you really enjoy doing and your brain is also you know going to get fresh you're going to feel better you will feel happy so definitely take time for the things that you enjoy for the next habit stop doubting yourself yeah it is a thing like every person does at some point or the other if you do not do that it's a very good thing but if you do i'll just say uh, i mean it's easy said that done at some point of the time you might get uh, insecure you might feel insecure about something or the other it can be your work it can be your body it can be anything that you are doing in your life currently so don't doubt yourself you're doing great and i'm sure you people are going to do even much better in your life so stop doubting yourself everybody has their own path again the same thing everybody is doing what they can do the best uh, another habit that i would like to say is go outside yeah enjoy you're in your 20s have fun like meet people for you know work meet people for new opportunities and even meet people for fun just to connect with people, emotional connect you can you know it helps you refresh your brain it helps you uh, get to know what other people are doing and even if not with people you can just go alone outside like just enjoy your own company and you'll feel a lot relaxed just try walking you know try uh, visiting a restaurant try watching a movie alone sometime you're actually going to feel very good and lastly i'm going to say that just remember that your only limit is you so keep challenging your beliefs keep challenging yourself to do better never limit yourself by this uh, like by this thing that i cannot do it don't judge yourself even before you've started doing a thing make sure you try to reach it till the very end and you don't have to judge yourself people are there like enough people are there to judge you so you don't have to judge, judge yourself so that's why just keep going and keep challenging your beliefs so these were the te- 20 habits uh, like that you should have or you should inculcate or practice during your 20s and they're going to help you a lot and they're very essential for your whole life journey so that's it from my side i hope you guys like this video and if you did please like and share and if you have any queries any doubts any general anything then please comment them down and thank you so much everyone for watching this video and have a nice day